let's answer the question how do vinca alkaloids help in the treatment of cancer and what is the role of microtubules in this process vinca alkaloids or alkaloids derived from the periwinkle plant vinca rosea this here is a vinca rosea plant and what do you mean by alkaloids alkaloids are a class of naturally occurring organic nitrogen containing compounds that are found in plants and many of these alkaloids have been used as medicinal agents one of them is the vinca alkaloids the medicinal substances derived from vinca alkaloids are vincristin vinblastin and vinorelbin these are used in the treatment of cancer and are thus labeled as anti-cancer drugs. Cancer is a disease caused by an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells. So there is uncontrolled cell division of abnormal cells leading to formation of more number of cells. Mitosis is the term used to describe cell division. Cell division or mitosis occurs in five stages. Metaphase is the third step in mitosis. And this here is the image of a cell in mitosis. You can see a cell with various organelles inside. And in the center, you see chromosomes lined up. On either end of the cell, you see some condensed structures, which are the centrosomes. And from the centrosomes originate the spindle-like fibers, which are the mitotic spindles. And the mitotic spindles are attached to the chromosome in the center. Chromosomes on linear section, that is this and this together, are known as a chromatid. This here is one chromatid and this here is another chromatid. The chromatids of the chromosome, that is the sister chromatids, are attached at either end to the mitotic spindles or the spindle fibers. These mitotic spindles are made up of microtubules. This here is an image showing the helical structure of a microtubule. Microtubule is made up of tubulin subunits, namely the alpha tubulin and the beta tubulin. The yellow unit here depicts the alpha tubulin and the green unit depicts the beta tubulin. One alpha tubulin and one beta tubulin arranged together to form a heterodimer tubulin. And many such heterodimers arranged next to each other to form a protofilament. And these protofilaments arranged together to form a microtubule. This process of assembly of tubulin units to form a microtubule is known as polymerization. And when the tubulin units separate from each other, that is called as the disassembly of tubulin or depolymerization. Vinca alkaloids act by inhibiting the polymerization of tubulin or the assembly of microtubules, which is an important part of the mitotic spindle. This inhibitory effect results in the arrest of mitosis or cell division during metaphase. As mitosis is arrested, as the cell division is arrested, the cell does not divide further which then leads to the death of the cell. 
And in cancer, you learn that there is an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells. But as cell division is halted, this uncontrolled division doesn't occur further. Despite their similarities, the drugs Vinblastin, Vincristin, and Vinorelbin have a strikingly different spectrum of clinical activity and safety profile. Thus, they are used to treat different types of cancer. Vincristin is used to treat ALL or acute lymphocytic leukemia, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, rhabdomyosarcoma, neuroblastoma, and Wilms tumor. Whereas Vinblastin, in addition to being used for treating Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's, it is also used to treat germ cell cancer, breast cancer, and Kaposi sarcoma. Vinorelbin, on the other hand, is used to treat breast cancer and also non-small cell lung cancer and ovarian cancer. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, leave your feedback in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions or if you would like me to cover any other topics in the future videos. Do share it with your friends and kindly subscribe to support the channel and get updates whenever I post a new video. Until then, happy learning!